watching tomorrow at 3 for part 2 of the return of Bigfoot on the Six Million Dollar Man. And next on 10, Simon Townsend's Wonderworld. Australia's richest and most glamorous brand new talent show premieres Tuesday, 7.30, Channel 10. Now, from the Eyewitness Newsroom, a news break. Brought to you by John L. Motors. Good afternoon, Del Miles with an Eyewitness News break. A police tribunal examining the affairs of suspended Deputy Police Commissioner Bill Allen today heard allegations that Mr Allen offered money to a former licensing squad officer. The allegation came from Sergeant Ernest Shepherd of the Vice Squad. The Royal Commission into the Builders Labourers Federation moved to Canberra today and immediately started probing the financial affairs of the union's Canberra branch. A former organiser of that branch claims it was guilty of malpractice. And traditional Aboriginal uh, landowners have agreed to let the Pan Continental Mining Company develop the country's biggest uranium mine, the Jabaluka Lode in the Kakadu National Park. Construction could now be ready to start in the Northern Territory after the next wet season. We'll have more on all today's top news stories in Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock. The closer you get to Peugeot, the closer you get to perfection. And now, John L. Peugeot brings you the latest Peugeot, the 505. Inside, every imported luxury to take the tension out of city driving. Under the bonnet, high performance means reliable motoring. Outside, well, just take a look. The Peugeot 505 looking good. John L. Peugeot looking even better for trade-in value and customer service. John L. Peugeot on the Parramatta Road at Auburn. Okay, how's this? Top secret U.S. government gun sight being tested at Beller Aircraft gets ripped off. It was a prototype, one of a kind. This little baby can hit a beer can from five miles out. The case isn't closed when your local superhero's on the job. William Catt and Robert Culp star in The Greatest American Hero, a brand new series, Friday, 7.30, here okay. on 10. Bingo. Nothing to it when you know what you're doing. Join the very first Australian film crew to go behind the wall in the 10 exclusive Berlin, Island Without a Sea, tonight, 7.30. This is Channel 10. Welcome to Simon Townsend's Wonderworld. I'm Morris Parker and I'm filling in for a while while Simon is away. He's only away for this week. In today's program we have some great stories which come from all over Australia. First however, can you imagine a plane which has the manoeuvrability of a helicopter and the utility of a tractor or truck? There is such a plane called a Sky Farmer. The Sky Farmer is a crop duster and is an Australian invention. So join our high-flying reporter Sheridan Jobbins as she takes the air and looks at this remarkable aircraft. Now this is the most eccentric looking plane, what is it for? 
<laughs> I have to agree with that, it's especially for agriculture. It sprays crops, vegetable crops, it sprays forests and it spreads fertiliser. It does seeding. All sorts of things. All sorts of things to do with food and primary production. Well, why does it look so different to other plains? Well, it looks so different because it was designed originally as an agricultural system and then made into an aeroplane to fly rather than taking a conventional aeroplane and compromising it with attachments. The Sky Farmer has a very large gap between the two tailplanes. That's to allow trucks to come in and load seeds, insecticides or fertilizers into the plane. Like, no more, no more. The runs of these planes are extremely short. They only last about three minutes. And loading only takes 20 seconds. That's very fast. And sometimes little accidents occur, like the truck backs into the plane or vice versa. So this area has nothing inside. So that if there is an accident, well, the plane can still operate. of the plane where they put all the fertilizers insecticides and seeds and stuff and as you can see it's really surprisingly roomy <laughs> oh, I believe it has an excellent safety record and safety features oh what it certainly does have yes a very safe airplane uh, the pilot sits in a survivable capsule, very strong, and the pilot sits up close to the front and high so that in the event of a bad accident, the aeroplane tumbles over and the pilot sits up very close so he has a short tumble over action, very much like a parachutist landing with his knees tucked up. So there have been some very bad accidents with these aeroplanes and the pilots have walked away. And the really good thing is that it also takes people. <laughs> What a remarkable aircraft. We'll be back in a moment. What's it take to make us smile all over that refreshing taste of Coca-Cola? Have a Coke and a smile. Lassie, is it true I can get a dollar off any family size pizza on the menu? It's true. A whole dollar off, no matter what topping I choose, mm -hmm. or whether I eat it here or take it home. You still get a dollar off. Right, lads, this is the place. The dollar offer offer is on at Pizza Hut. Get a family size pizza, get a dollar off the price. That's amazing. Great. You're welcome. sunburnt country, a land of sweeping plains, of ragged mountain ranges, of droughts and flooding rains. I love her far horizons, I love her jewel sea, her beauty and her charm. Cash in an aluminium can. The more you collect, the more money you earn and the more you help Apex get things done for Australia. 
KB Cup 82, the richest rugby league competition in the world, seen exclusively on Channel 10. Ace commentator Ray Warren is joined by league expert Keith Barnes every Wednesday night. Then on Saturdays, 10's big game features the top television match with Premiership League at its best. Warren and Barnes will be there to present it. Plus, judging of the Daily M Awards when the Daily Mirror and Channel 10 recognise the weekly achievements of our top players. KB Cup 82, the big game and Daily M, all on League Station 10. Well, here's my story for today. Well, one of my favourite sports is cricket. And because I'm such a great fan of the game, I was fascinated to hear about a really unique cricket museum. This place is full of bits and pieces relating to Australia's cricket history. It's great. So sit back as, and join me as I bowl this story over. At the moment, I'm standing on perhaps one of Australia's most famous battlegrounds. It's not Gallipoli and it's not El Alamein. Here we've fought such famous countries as England, the West Indies and New Zealand. The Melbourne Cricket Ground. Lovely shot. Good cricket. Well, how did the museum come into being? Well, it really started when a young Englishman named Anthony Bayer was out here and he made a gift of uh, a tremendous amount of porcelain, china, silver, prints, watercolours, oils. pads. Firstly, pads worn by the great Don Bradman and pads worn by weirkeeper Rod Marsh. What do you think are some of the more interesting cricket exhibits? Well, I think one of the most interesting ones uh, relates to the first Australian team that went to England, which was an Aborigine team. And we have a photograph of that team over there and they had names like Dicker Dick, Red Cap. Um, and there was one player, Johnny Muller, who made something like two and a half thousand runs and took 250 wickets, so he must have been a mighty fine player. Well, whatever, whatever happened to them? Well, they came back and I think a few of them died in England and they came back and they uh, just, the team disintegrated virtually. The Cricket Museum not only has famous cricket bats, cricket players and cricket balls, but it also contains this horseshoe worn by Dolly the Draft Horse. Dolly used to help in the rolling of the wicket on the Melbourne Cricket Ground. What's the largest crowd you've had here? The largest crowd, surprisingly, is not for cricket or football, it was for the Billy Graham Crusade back in about 1958. There were 130,000 people here, they were on the ground, they were everywhere. It's my favourite sport. I'll be back in a minute. What did you get up to this morning? <whistles> Kellogg's Rice Bubbles. Dear Mum and Dad, I'm having a great time at camp and all the guys are really helpful. Plan enough for you, Freddy? Beautiful squeaky. Help yourself. The money you sent came in really handy. You might say I've spent it wisely. Freddy, under the bed too, Wally. 
The things you go through for the best burger taste in town. Only joking, Ollie. Here. Oh, beauty, pretty, you're a real mate. for a Wonderworld musical interlude and it's a soft mellow tune today called Insider performed by Tom Petty and the lovely Stevie Nicks. Great harmony between these two singers. They're on stage here with the Heartbreakers, Tom Petty's band. Mm -hmm. 